Hi, Jake. Hey, Jane. In this garden surrounded by scary mannequins <laughs> seems like a great place to talk about how you figure out perspective and scale when making a level. Yeah, so, um, you know, when you start making a game, one of the first things you need to do is to have scale reference. So um, what we did was just uh, download a bunch of free scale models, actually. Yep, <laughs> just some royalty-free um, yeah. T-posed yes. nude men and women. I think like the man is just a, the default ZBrush man. Before you put in the trees and before you put in the grass and before you put in yeah. the rocks, when all you have is terrain, it can look like it's like a six foot wide hallway or it's like a quarter mile wide right. and you can't even tell in first person. But then once, boop, there's just a little nude man out there. Yeah. You you really you really know. Yeah, how tall is this tree? Oh my gosh, this is actually, oh, it's a really tall tree. Yeah, well, it looks tiny before you yep. put a scale man. Um, so there's also, you'll notice, there's a, a collection of different scale men out here. Um, when we first dropped our scale man, when we first dropped our, our scale people in, yes. um, they came in with some default material that was like this like it's, glistening onyx yeah. stone. I think the default Unity material back then was just some very glossy black. Yeah, so we had these like just... <laughs> just rippling, glistening stone <laughs> statues, including parts... Full uh, anatomy. There were some parts that were very good at catching the light, and I think when Nels was the bikini, gray boxing... The bikini parts. Yeah, Nels, <laughs> Nels was like, I, I, I gotta get in real close on some parts of this level, and I just don't know about this. So then, the next day when we got latest... It's, it's very distracting when the gloss material it, is... It's debatable, you know. though, if that's more or less distracting than the jean shorts that were slapped on. Um... It feels to me, Jane, like an early dev, as you got bored, you just kept like festooning the scale man with more stuff. I think it was one of those times when I was like, is it worth spending 15 minutes to make myself happy? Yes. And I was like, yes. And then it's like worth maybe, 15 minutes maybe to some more time to add, this. Some, add some love handles <laughs> oh, and, yes. then, and then like some heart shaped chest hair. Who's to say? Who's but to you know, say? 15 minutes turned into 30 minutes of fun and now, you know. Oh man, by the end of the production, <laughs> Greybox so thing it. was really fun. I, or like you'd know that there was someone was in there working uh, because you would just see all these like yeah. love handle jorts, Henry chest yeah. hair dudes floating all over the place. I think my favorite part is also when you've done. Um, level designing a, a space. Sometimes you've lifted the terrain without lifting the the scale man. So sometimes once in a while I'm like, why is this area kind of not performing great? And I look under the earth and there's like four there's just buried <laughs> floating, floating, floating scale man underneath. And it's <laughs> like, fine. Oh, thanks, Jake. Delete. It's fine. Uh, yeah, those are my favorite little Jake surprises. It's good, or like you'll see one <laughs> off in the sky. Like in this case, there's a, there's a couple deliberately oh, yeah. way out in the distance because um, I wanted people to look at how forced perspective works also. Um, so, you know, zoom in on some George guys. Be happy. Um, oh, actually, another note about the scale lady here. Um, she's actually the same model that we use for the teens in the lake. Oh, that's true. We just added a ponytail, really. And sparklers. 